Do you suffer with psoriasis, and would like to treat it naturally? In this video, you will learn the causes of psoriasis and natural ways to cure it. A number of factors appear to cause or contribute to psoriasis. The most common cause is a thinning of the small intestinal walls which allows toxins to enter the circulation system and lymph, which sets up irritations on the skin. This thinning may be due to constipation, faulty utilization of fats, food allergy, spinal lesions, malfunction of liver and kidneys, previous vaccinations, candida overgrowth, or other factors. Incomplete protein digestion or poor intestinal absorption of protein breakdown products can result in elevated levels of amino acids and polypeptides in the bowel. These are metabolized by bowel bacteria into several toxic compounds. The toxic metabolites are known as polyamines which contribute to the excessive rate of cell proliferation therefore triggering psoriasis. Some natural remedies can inhibit the formation of polyamines such as vitamin A and the alkaloids of the herb golden seal. However, the best way to prevent excess formation of polyamines is to improve digestive function. Overgrowth of candida in the intestines can cause psoriasis flare-ups in many cases. There are a number of other gut-derived toxins which can cause flare-ups including endotoxins, yeast compounds, and immune complexes. A diet low in fiber is linked to increased levels of these gut-derived toxins. Dietary fiber is important in maintaining a healthy colon. Many fiber compounds bind bowel toxins and promote their excretion in the feces. It is therefore essential to consume fruits and vegetables. In a controlled study of 92 patients, the herb sarsaparilla relieved psoriasis in 62% of the patients and resulted in complete clearance of the psoriasis in another 18%. This is due to the components in sarsaparilla binding to the bacteria and promoting excretion of this bacteria. A diet high in fiber along with sarsaparilla can help bind endotoxins in the gut, prevent their absorption, and promote their elimination. Psoriasis can also be caused by poor liver function. If the liver is overwhelmed by too many toxins in the bowel or if there is a decrease in the liver's detoxification ability, the toxin levels in the blood will increase and the psoriasis will worsen. Therefore, correcting abnormal liver function is beneficial in treating psoriasis. Alcohol is known to worsen psoriasis since it increases the absorption of toxins from the gut, and impairs liver function. Therefore, alcohol should be eliminated in people with psoriasis. The herb milk thistle is valuable in treating psoriasis as it improves liver function, inhibits inflammation, and reduces excessive cellular proliferation. Omega-3 fatty acids such as flaxseed oil are beneficial. However, fish oil is less effective because most commercially available fish oils contain high levels of damaged fats which place stress on antioxidant defense mechanisms. In people with psoriasis, the production of inflammatory compounds called leukotrienes is much greater than normal. These are toxic compounds produced from arachidonic acid, a fat found in meat, and other animal food sources. Naturally occurring substances such as quercetin, vitamin E, onion, and garlic may help reduce these inflammatory compounds. Because arachidonic acid is found only in animal tissues, it would help to eliminate animal products such as meat, dairy products, and animal fats. People with psoriasis often have low levels of vitamin A and zinc which play a critical role in the health of skin, therefore, supplementation is useful for people with psoriasis. People with psoriasis also tend to have increased serum levels of insulin and glucose, therefore, chromium supplementation may be indicated to increase insulin receptor sensitivity. The antioxidant enzyme glutathione peroxidase contains selenium, and levels are low in people with psoriasis possibly due to alcohol abuse, malnutrition, and excessive loss of skin cells, robbing the body of vital nutrients. The low levels of glutathione peroxidase will normalize with oral selenium and vitamin E therapy. Active vitamin D has a role in controlling cellular processes involved with cellular replication. This has led to clinical trials of both oral and topical forms of vitamin D in the treatment of psoriasis. Clinical studies have shown that fumaric acid is useful in treating many patients with psoriasis but side effects such as flushing of the skin, nausea, diarrhea, malaise, gastric pain, and mild liver and kidney problems can occur. Fumaric acid should only be used after other natural therapies have proven to be ineffective. Sunlight is beneficial for psoriasis. 
UVB exposure alone helps inhibit cell proliferation and is equally as effective as PUVA therapy with less side effects. Glyceritonic acid is a component of licorice which has a similar effect to that of topical hydrocortisone in the treatment of psoriasis and eczema. In several studies, glyceritonic acid was more effective than topical cortisone, especially in chronic cases. For example, in one study of patients with eczema, 93% of the patients who applied glyceritonic acid showed improvement, compared to 83% who used cortisone. Chamomile preparations are widely used in Europe for treating a variety of skin complaints such as psoriasis, eczema, and dry, flaky, irritated skin. The flavonoid and essential oil components of chamomile have effective anti-inflammatory and anti-allergy activity. Capsaicin is the active component of cayenne pepper. When applied topically, capsaicin stimulates then blocks small diameter pain fibers by depleting them of the neurotransmitter substance P. Substance P is the principal chemomediator of pain impulses from the periphery. Substance P also activates inflammatory mediators in psoriasis. Foods should be mostly alkaline with at least one meal daily consisting of raw vegetables. Yellow foods are useful long term. Soybeans, tofu, and lecithin are also useful as they lower cholesterol capabilities. Seaweeds and brown rice should also be consumed. Citrus fruits should be avoided as well as tomatoes, red meats, saturated fats, hydrogenated fats, sweets, alcohol, pastry, or carbonated beverages. If food allergy is suspected, several tests are available to confirm it. The foods that commonly trigger psoriasis are meat, dairy, wheat, eggs, and citrus. It is good to begin with a juice fast for 7 to 21 days, especially with carrots and spirulina, along with herbal teas such as slippery elm. Following the initial fast, the diet of high fiber, raw vegetables, no acid, and no meat should begin. The diet should also be limited in saturated fats which people with psoriasis cannot handle well. Psoriasis patients also have high serum cholesterol levels, so repeated fasts may be needed to assist with further recovery. Eliminations must be kept regular. This may require herbal purification, colonics, and spinal manipulation to achieve permanent results. Other forms of treatment include castor oil packs applied to the lower abdomen nightly for 45 minutes to 1.5 hours, ocean swims, natural sunlight, and ultraviolet light, although be careful not to overuse ultraviolet light as skin cancer has been associated with chronic overexposure. Natural sun rays are best and most effective. Also helpful are enemas and colonics. Useful vitamins and minerals include vitamin A, bioflavonoids which are anti-inflammatories, quercetin, essential fatty acids, flaxseed oil, glucosamine, zinc, and EPA or eicosapentaenoic acid, chondroitin sulfate, probiotics, and lecithin. Soy lecithin is an important additive to the diet. Useful secondary vitamins and minerals include vitamin B complex, yeast free if allergic to yeast, B12, folic acid, vitamin C, glutamine, evening primrose oil, hydrochloric acid, cod liver oil, and an elixir of lactated pepsin to regularize eliminations. A good homeopathic remedy is arsenicum. Pancreatic enzymes, and sulfur can also help. Herbs include Coleus forscolii, Yellow American Saffron Tea, and Slippery Elm Tea as mentioned before. Also bergamot oil applied to the area, then exposure to sun or ultraviolet lamp which sensitizes the skin to ultraviolet light. Other useful herbs include bloodroot extract, burdock root as a decoction, chamomile, common figwort, mullen, Oregon grape root, sarsaparilla, wild clover, and yellow dock. In summary, treatment of psoriasis takes a lot of time and perseverance for best results. Allergy tests may reveal common foods that cause allergic reactions. Rotation diets where suspected foods, especially grains, proteins, and any other suspected foods are not consumed more frequently than every four to seven days are also useful to desensitize the individual. It is advised to exclude suspected foods for six months even if allergy tests are negative. Improper weaning to cow's milk and wheat is often a major cause of psoriasis. Many naturopaths have observed that previous vaccinations seem to be another cause of allergic skin conditions including eczema and psoriasis. Other drugs such as antibiotics can cause long-term allergic skin reactions. 
The main aim of treating psoriasis is to remove conditions that result in a loss of intestinal villi with thinning of the bowel, to remove allergens and irritants from the diet, and to provide a diet and herbs that help soothe these delicate membranes. In most cases, balancing the body fluid's pH acid alkaline ratio is a major aim. Psoriasis must be dealt with on all levels especially emotional. It is important to identify stressor and to see what irritates you on a physical level as each patient responds uniquely, and individual adjustments are required. Many cases respond well to vitamin A topically followed by sunlight or ultraviolet exposure, however, sunlight is best whenever possible. This must be done along with the above-mentioned dietary changes. Essential fatty acids are also useful including EPA, GLA, and primrose oil. The question of essential fatty acid malabsorption or faulty metabolism is of particular interest in relation to psoriasis. EFA deficiency in humans causes skin rashes resembling eczema and psoriasis. Some patients benefit from reducing saturated fats and increasing unsaturated fats while avoiding commercially transformed or overheated unsaturated fats such as margarine or fried foods which contain harmful trans fatty acids which are known to interfere with normal essential fatty acid metabolism. Other patients appear to have a block in normal essential fatty acid metabolism, and can bypass this fault by using evening primrose oil which is high in linoleic acid. Also, the vegetable oils of sunflower, safflower, corn, soy, and flaxseed, but also containing gamma-linolenic acid. The only other dietary source is human milk which may explain why breastfeeding seems protective against many cases of infantile eczema. The use of various oils in the form of EPA is also another way to help bypass this biochemical fault along a closely related pathway. Significant advances may soon be made in better and hopefully less expensive forms of essential fatty acids and their metabolic products to help correct these skin disorders. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoy this content, please hit the like button, and subscribe to the channel for more informative videos on health conditions and their treatments, natural remedies, and nutrition. Also, be sure to click the link in the description below to claim your free bonus. Thanks again, bye for now.